What's up everybody? Today I've got an HP ProDesk 600 Gen 5. I bought this used. It has the i7-9700T processor and it came with only 8 gigs of RAM and without any sort of a hard drive. Um, it also has the DisplayPort card along with the two onboard DisplayPorts. Uh, so I'll be swapping out the card for an HDMI and I will be upgrading the RAM to 16 gigs. I've already inserted the NVMe drive that I'm going to use um, so I can test it out and applied thermal paste. So the first thing you're going to do is unscrew uh, this. You don't have to take it all the way out. Uh, I'm taking it all the way out right now because it is easier to get that card out if you do. Just going to slide the case forward and lift up and it will come right off. So as you can see, I've got my uh, M2 drive in. The RAM is going to be right underneath the fan. So I'll take this and lift it up and just insert and clip it down. That part is done. Then we will remove the DisplayPort card. So this screw is just a little bit uh, underneath one of the tabs. You can bend the tab out of the way if you need to, but I'm able to get it at an angle where I can get it out with no problem. Take this other screw here and this screw here. And put these out of the way for now. And I'm going to take a guitar pick. Um, that will help release the card from its slot uh, that it's plugged into on the board. And then it should just lift right out. Then I'll take the new card and just put it right back in its place. And you'll notice that this has also got the uh, port right there that it's going to plug right into on the motherboard. So you get this lined up. And you can just give it a little bit of pressure. It doesn't need too much to pop right in there and then the screws will do the rest. So replace that screw and this screw as well. Once you get these in there, just get them snug, not over tightened. I'm just going to make sure it's not wiggling in there so it did make a good secure connection in the board. And then this just slides right back into place. We'll replace the screw, just push this in. Get it secure, and we're ready to go. Thanks for watching.